Even as the COVID-19 pandemic has evolved, your why has evolved just as much, even while closed. Places like ours will remain closed, at least through May the 11th, by order of Governor Tate Reeves. But we're looking at things closely as we look to finally reopen. Uh, we'll be following CDC guidelines, state and local guidelines, so that will dictate the details. Even with the doors shut, we've been very busy, deep cleaning every building, conducting a much needed social distance blood drive, making child care available for first responders and health care workers. We're also providing preschoolers with grab and go meals, delivering birthday greetings to our beloved seniors and handing out goodie bags to those same seniors. And we've been doing a lot of sprucing up work both inside and outside of the Y. We've been doing a lot of painting, a lot of landscape and work, you know, taking care of the shrubs, the bushes, uh, changing out the flower beds, uh, painting walls, pool deck, uh, you can see the pool lip of the, you know, the edge of the pool, they've painted that. Why fitness instructors are still engaged, giving virtual fitness lessons and Facebook Live classes for our members and anyone else who wants to watch. For the instructors, it's good to be involved once again. Since I started doing this a couple weeks ago, I mean, it's really boosted uh, just my overall mental health, sanity, physical well-being. Um, I've been so much happier just to get out of the house, come back to the Y, which I love. When the Y does reopen, hopefully soon, there will be changes, but that's the new normal for just about everyone. We know the capacity will be different. We're going to be acknowledging the, the six foot spacing. Uh, we will learn more about the capacity of our facility as days arrive, uh, how we enter and exit the building, how we walk around the facility, all will uh, be impacted by these decisions. And we have a very heartfelt message for all of our members. We understand for those who had to uh, take a break, we, we understand that and we hope they'll come back as this resolves. Uh, but we are preparing for you. Your facility will be different when you come back. Uh, we wanna make sure we're safe when you arrive, but we're so thankful for those who have stuck with us and I continue to appreciate their support. Doug Walker, reporting for our YMCA.